If you recently picked up the new Galaxy Z Fold 7 and you feel like it feels a little bit bland out of the box and you want to spice it up a little bit, today I'm going to show you how you can customize this phone and personalize it with useful widgets, a better layout and functionality for a better user experience. So let's get into it. All right, guys. Now, the very first thing that we're going to want to decide on our Galaxy Fold 7 is if we want to mirror our cover screen with the inner display. So if we long press on our home screen, go to settings, you'll see an option here that says cover screen mirroring and it will be on by default. And what that means is this cover screen will be reflected on the inner screen. So when we open it up, you can see that this half of the display will always look exactly the same as the cover screen. So anything we change here will be reflected. So let's say we wanna move this widget over. Now, when we go back to our cover screen, you can see that widget will show up over here. But if you want a completely separate look for your inner display, what you can do is go back into those settings, go to cover screen mirroring, change this to off, hit apply, and now we'll be able to customize our inner display completely different from our cover display. So they will be completely separate of each other. You can have a different cover display and you can do whatever it is that you want on the inner display. Personally, I like to have it mirroring. So I'm gonna go back into the settings, set it to on, hit apply, and now my cover screen will always look the same as this half of the inner display. Now, the next thing we're gonna do on our Galaxy Fold 7 is to create our very own wallpaper. And the wonderful thing about Galaxy AI is we can do it on device. We no longer need to go scouring the web, looking for wallpapers and downloading things on our phone. We can just do it from the device itself by long pressing on the home screen, going to wallpapers and styles, change wallpaper, and under create with AI, tap generate. And you'll see we have a few different templates that you can go through and select or you can tap on any of these from here and create something yourself. So let's go to luminous and change it from coral to maybe indigo and then hit generate and see what we get. We'll hit set and then set it to lock screen and home screen, hit next. And in here you can swipe between all the other options that it created for you. But once you pick something that you like, just hit done up here. And now you can see we have our very own wallpaper that we created on device using Galaxy AI, giving our phone a nice personal touch. All right, guys, next what we're gonna do is take advantage of the free real estate on our display. And to do this, we're gonna go into our display settings, go to home screen grid, and change it from four by six to five by six. And what you're gonna see is we now get an extra slot for an icon on our display, so we can fit more applications, icons, and widgets on our display. So we're gonna hit done, and now you can see we can always drag more icons over here because we now have an extra column to fit more things on there. And this is definitely going to be useful, especially if you're using your phone from the cover display, you're gonna have more space for more applications. So you don't need to unlock your phone to access more things. You can do it directly from your lock screen. So if you want extra space on your display to put more widgets, applications, and icons, definitely go ahead and change that grid to give you more space. Now for this next setting, you might have noticed that all of the applications on my phone do not have the name of the application under the icon. So it doesn't say YouTube, YouTube Studio, Instagram, Reddit, it doesn't say anything under there. And I just think that this look feels a lot more minimalistic and clean. And I really like how it looks. Plus, I already know what all the icons are. I don't need any of that text there. So if you want to set this up for yourself as well, just go back into your home screen settings and you'll see right there it says app labels. I have it disabled. And you can also change the icon size from larger to smaller. I made it as small as possible because I think that it just looks a lot more clean. I like having some white space between the icons and not having any of those icons just makes everything look a little bit nicer. But again, of course, if you want to change that, you can go ahead and customize it to your own liking. You can make these bigger, enable those app labels, and now you can see everything looks a little bit different. Now, if you swipe up to go into your taskbar, this is where all of the applications you have installed on your phone live. And you can see there's a large list of everything and things are kind of all over the place. There's all this random white space. It doesn't really make sense how it looks like. So what we can do is organize this alphabetically, which is something I always recommend everyone do by tapping these three dots right here go to sort and then just set it to alphabetical order. And now it's going to be much easier to find all of the applications you have on your phone. And you can see everything is just here in one list. You don't have to swipe pages to find everything. It's going to be much easier to find whatever you're looking for. Now you guys might have noticed that on my lock screen, I have these two arrows right here. And what these will do is when I swipe up on them, it will give me my notification history and I can swipe down and see all of the notifications that I've got. So if I swipe something away or if I miss something or I just wanna go back and check something, I can easily access it directly from my lock screen. And if you wanna set this up for yourself, what you're gonna to need to do is install GoodLock from the Galaxy Store because this is a GoodLock module. 
But once you have it, what you want to do is open up GoodLock and then look for the no T star module right there. And all you need to do is just go ahead and go into the settings and enable this feature. And that's it, you're all done. All of your notifications will now show up on your lock screen. The only things that I would change in these settings is go to the notification storage period and just select how long you want the notifications to go back for. So I've set mine to 30 days. And then you can also go to the start icon settings and move where on your screen you want that icon. So if you have widgets or other things on your lock screen, you definitely wanna make sure that this button is out of the way. But once you're done, just hit save. And that's it, you're all done. Now, anytime you go to your lock screen, you'll have these two arrows and you can check all of your notification history directly from your lock screen. Now, while we're on the topic of lock screens, we definitely want to customize the lock screen because by default, there's a few things on here that I suggest everybody change. And to customize it, all you need to do is just long press on your lock screen and you can see an editor will pop up where we can change all of these settings on our lock screen. So you can go ahead and start with the clock. You can change the font or the style. We have definitely a lot of cool clock styles. If you want something animated, you can go ahead and select it. And you can of course change the size of the clock. So go ahead and just arrange this to your liking. But what you can do next is go ahead and add some widgets. I definitely suggest everybody do this because having widgets right on your lock screen makes getting to things so much faster. Instead of having to unlock your phone, search for the application, open it up, do whatever it is you need to do, you can do some of these really useful things directly from the lock screen. And a few widgets that I like to add to my lock screen is under the calendar, there is a countdown widget right there. Once you add it and then you tap on it, what you can do is go into your calendar and select an event. So you can swipe to a future event. Maybe you have a vacation coming up or whatever else you want. I'll just use my birthday as an example. We can hit save. And I can see it'll show us that we have 73 days until my birthday. The next one is in the camera module. There's a new one here called custom camera. And I really like this one because we all know that we can double tap the power button to bring up our camera. But with this widget, what we can do is select any specific camera mode. So if we go to starting mode, you can see we have the rear and front camera options. And then from down here, we have all of the camera options directly in here. So we have portrait video, hyperlapse, dual recording, panoramic, food, pro video, portrait mode, whatever it is that you want, you can select this. So let's say maybe we want to open up our slow motion camera from our widget. We can select that and then hit save. And now every time we tap on that, it will go directly into our slow motion video camera options. So instead of having to launch our camera and then go to those settings and then find the slow motion video option, we can do it directly from our lock screen widgets. And that way we can get to the camera option much faster so we don't miss out on filming anything that might be happening in the moment. Now with One UI 7, we got another useful widget in here that we can use directly from our lock screen and that is the voice recorder. So if we add this widget, we can now start a voice recording directly from our lock screen. So I'm gonna hit done just to save these settings to show you what this looks like. And now all I need to do to start a voice recording is just tap on that icon right there and you can see it starts recording. I don't need to unlock my phone, find the recording application and start the recording, I can do it directly from my lock screen. And when I'm done, all I need to do is just tap it up, tap on it again, and you can see it will save it to my phone. So next, what we're gonna do is go down here and edit these quick shortcuts. You can see we have the phone dialer right here in the camera application right there. But by default, I already told you we can double tap the power button to open up our camera. So this icon here is a little bit redundant, and I suggest you change it. And to do that, we can just tap on it and you can see we have all these different other options in here. We can turn on the flashlight, we can put it into airplane mode, we can put it into do not disturb mode, we can start a live translation, or we can even open up any of the applications that we have on our phone. So if you wanna launch a game or go into Instagram or whatever you want, you can add that into the shortcut to make it much more accessible. Now, personally, I like to set this to the flashlight because I like to walk around at night snacking on food and I don't wanna bump into any furniture while I'm walking around. So all I need to do to turn on my flash is just go to my lock screen, swipe up on this icon, and you can see it will turn on my flashlight and of course, swipe up again to turn it off. So definitely go ahead and make some of these changes to your lock screen to make it much more useful. Now, personally, I like having a clean looking lock screen. I don't like a lot of clutter on here and you can see I don't have a lot of icons or a lot of widgets. But one thing that I also love is being able to access everything I need directly from my lock screen. And one thing that helps me do this is widget stacking. And you can see right here, I have my weather widget. I also have my reminder widget and I have my calendar widget. And it's all stacked on top of each other instead of having three different widgets 
I can put them all in one up here and that keeps my cover screen looking nice and clean while giving me access to everything I need. Now if you don't know how to stack widgets, all you need to do is just long press on your home screen, go to widgets and then select whatever widget you want to add to your home screen. And when you have it, just go ahead and press on that widget and then just select edit stack. And now you can see you can add more widgets to this stack. So we'll go tap the plus icon and let's say maybe we want to add the health widget. So we'll go ahead and select this one, tap add, and that's it. Now you can see we have another widget in this stack and we can keep adding more and more widgets so that we have access to everything we need directly from our home screen without cluttering it up. But there you go, guys. That's gonna do it for this video on how to customize your Samsung Galaxy Fold 7. I hope you enjoyed this video and you learned something. If you did, be sure to leave a like and subscribe and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.